So this is going to be an updated, remastered, new 2024, whatever you want to call it, different ways to make planets. Because even though I made that video before, I still see people using the same like two or three methods to make planets. So I am here. We're going to go over the ones that we covered before, but I'm also going to give you guys a few new ones that I've picked up. It's going to be for absolute beginners. Even if you've never done this art before, or you've never even touched spray paint before, you can still probably do most of what I'm about to show. If you're confused about the materials, I'm going to leave a link to a separate video where I covered all of the materials and where to get them, at least the ones that I use. I'm just going to use a plate that I picked up from Walmart. This is going to be our planet stencil today. Now, regardless of what technique you're using, most of the time I recommend that you at least outline your stencil just so you know exactly where to be putting the paint. One final thing real quick, there is no one right way to make these planets. Everything I'm about to show you is just the way that I like making them. Let's start with the classic planet technique. This is all about layers. Pick whatever colors float your boat. And the way that I like to go about it is we go from lighter to darker. So I'm gonna pick yellow, orange, and red. I recommend two colors is really nice. Maybe you can push three and then grab a neutral of some sort. So black, white, you can use both. We're gonna start with our lightest color, which is yellow, and just fill up the circle. That's it, just kind of give it a layer. Then we're gonna move on our next darkest next lightest i don't know how that would go i don't think it matters but right on top just layer them. darkest which is going to be red going to go right on top of that now for the purpose of this video i'm going to go with both black and white however you can just do one you can do just white you can do just black so we're going to go ahead and just top it off with this we're just going to do white up top black at the bottom now you're going to need newspaper magazine plastic bags Something along the lines of that. I'm just gonna use some magazine pages. And you're gonna need that gentle touch, okay? You just wanna take your page. Gentle touch, okay? Just get a bunch of wrinkles in there. And you need to make sure that this paint is still wet using clear coat. You're just gonna take your page, lay it down, give it a nice little swipe. You don't need to use too much pressure, but just kind of get it down and then you're gonna lift. So you place, you swipe, and you lift. That's it. And there we go. And you can see a little bit of all of the layers. You can see that yellow, you can see the orange, you can see the red, and you can also see those pockets of our neutral of the black and the white. I think I'm only gonna cover the shading once just to kind of save us some time, but you're gonna need black and white, which are the basics. You can add color to the shading and highlighting, but that's a separate thing, we'll cover that later. All you're gonna need to know how to do is how to make smiley faces and how to find your distance. So that is pretty close still. It's a very nice solid line. It's not very good for highlighting. So pull your can back and everyone's is gonna be different, but you want that nice misty separated look. And we're gonna do this for both the black and the white. So this is too close, pull the can back and get that nice separated look. So white paint, find your distance, pull back your can a little bit. And we're gonna make a smiley face, basically just right outside where the planet would be. Let the overspray do most of the work here just like that. Now we're gonna flip this around and we're gonna do the same thing with the shading, except what we're gonna do is when we find our distance, we make that smiley face here at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of push my way in a little bit. Just pushing my way in a little bit to shade the planet. And you can shade the planet as much as you want. Something like that actually looks pretty nice to me. At this point, if you want the best results, you should let the paint dry. I'm impatient, so I'm not gonna do that. And because I'm not gonna do that, what's probably gonna happen is I'm gonna get the Ring of Doom, but we're just gonna go ahead and place our stencil right about here. I'm gonna do a very simple space scene, right? Because it's just all about the planets. So I'm just gonna take some black. The way that I like to do my stars, a little bit of white on the finger. We're gonna flick to the side a couple times, two, maybe three times, just to get the big nasty blobs off. So white on the finger, one, two, and then we're just gonna bring it over to our painting and just start flicking down. If there is something that you don't like, I got a blobby star right there that bothers me. Just cover it up, no big deal. And then that is it. Now, we didn't really get the ring of doom here. Uh, we just got really lucky with it. But sometimes if you don't wait for the paint to dry like I don't, or you have a planet stencil with like a really thick lip to it, or it's really heavy, it might leave just a ring around the outside of your planet. And like I said, we got pretty lucky here. However, I'm gonna show you how you can kind of cover that up. And it is completely optional. However, it does add a nice glow to your planets and really makes them pop in my opinion. But what you're gonna need is some sort of poster board or poster board like material. This is just some packaging that came around a canvas of mine. And what we're gonna do with a flat side facing down, we're gonna curve it so it aligns with the curvature of the planet as best we can, just like that. We're gonna take some white and we're gonna spray it here. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit of practice. All right, and this is actually might be one of the most difficult things to do in this whole video but I'm just spraying the tool and I'm moving it across 
basically the entire highlighted part of the planet, right? Also hovering, you notice I'm not placing it on my painting, right? We have it maybe like a centimeter above the painting. I'm just hovering there. And of course, when you're done with your painting, we're just gonna seal it up one final time with some clear coat. Squiggle. Here is our first planet using the classic technique. Really cool. All right, now we're gonna do two at the same time right here, just because depending on how you do this technique, it'll look different, kind of, if that makes sense. You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna keep going with the yellow, orange, and red here. Doesn't matter what order you go in, and it doesn't matter where you kind of place the paint. What we're gonna do is just kind of get the paint down. Just get the paint down in the circle. I'm gonna try to keep them as similar as possible as well. And you don't have to just do stripes. You can do squiggle lines. You could do just like blobs or boops. All right, so those I think are as similar as we're gonna get it. Now you're gonna need clear coat just to make sure this paint is still wet. See that the way that we did this, we kind of have a flow. And our flow is we have a lot of these lines of paint kind of going up and down. Now, if you swipe with the paint, right? And it's just, it's the technique is as simple as this. Just take your fingers and just swipe back and forth and just kind of move your way throughout your planet. Right, if we go with the flow of the paint, swiping with the flow of the paint, it just kind of gently meshes the colors together versus if we go against the paint over here, it's a much more bigger clash of colors. As you can see, same exact planets, same exact technique, just changed the direction that we swiped in and we got very different results. Shading on the bottom, highlighting on top. These are really good, but we did get the Ring of Doom right here at the bottom of this planet. And we also got it in a few spots on that planet as well. And also at the highlighting of that one. I already showed you how to touch up on the highlighting and you could do the same exact method for the shading. Or if you have a painting like this where you don't really have a whole lot going on behind the planet, it's just all black, black, pull your can back and just kind of hit the bottom of that planet again. Just cover up that ring of doom a little bit. So we hover, we curve with the planet, we spray white onto our little tool. A layer of clear coat on each one. Squiggle. Squiggle. You can pick whatever colors that you want. What we need is just one layer in this circle. So you could do one solid color, and I'm just gonna stick with the yellow, orange, and red again. Or you can do multiple. So we can do maybe like yellow at the top, orange in the middle, and red down here at the bottom. And this is all still one layer. Now that we have our one layer, I'm just gonna top it off with black paint. Although you could probably get away with using any dark paint, not just black. And we're going to need some poster board like material again. Once again, I'm just going to use packaging that came around my canvas. Make sure this paint is still wet using clear coat. And what I'm going to do is just put this flat bit down and just kind of scrape away. Just kind of swiping back and forth, working my way down. Shading down here and a highlight up here. I don't like to wait for paint to dry, so we're going to place this here. Flick, flick, flick. And we have our planet. One final layer of clear coat. Squiggle. And there we go. This one's a lot of fun. You could do a lot with this. This one, I always like to use complementary colors. So we were doing a lot of the yellow, orange, and red. Let's use orange and blue is just put one color on one side of the planet. It doesn't really matter what, and it doesn't need to be just a straight line. Like, you know, you make some squiggles, make some little bumps, have the colors kind of bleed in to the other colors half. And you can use different shades as well if you want to, but I'm just going to use these two. And I also like to go ahead and throw some sort of neutral in here, which is what I'm going to do. I think we'll throw in both maybe a little bit of white and then also a little bit of black kind of doing it so it just splits the colors up, but you can just kind of throw them in there. We're gonna need a lot of clear coat. 
And we're also going to need a newspaper, magazine type material. Now you don't need to crumple it up or anything like that. We're just going to place it down and just spin it around. Just spin it around. And if you're having a hard time spinning it, you need more clear coat. And we're going to lift it up. Do the shading. We'll do the highlighting. Flick, flick, flick. And plan it. Put a black down here. Remember, hover, curve, and spray the tool. And this is by far my favorite technique. I really like the color clash and I like how well it works. Sometimes with the swiping, it can get very muddled, but I haven't really had that problem with this one. This one, definitely the most complicated. Take whatever color floats your boat, fill up the circle, and that's it. You literally you just leave it at that. The solid color planets are an option and they look good, especially if your planet is a lot smaller. However, this would be a good time to start adding colors to our shading and the highlighting. So once you get used to just the black and the white, finding your distance, making smiley faces, I'm proud of you, good job. We could start adding colors to it with the same exact technique. So for this, we'll just use yellow and red for the highlighting and the shading, plus the white and the black. Same thing, we're gonna have our highlighting up here. I'm just gonna flip it around so it's a bit more comfortable. Find our distance with the yellow, very simple. We're just gonna add some yellow at the top. Same thing as what we would do with the white. You could just leave it at that, but you could also add the white right underneath that, right? All about finding your distance, making smiley faces. That's it. There's red down here for the shading. Smiley face. I'm just gonna work my way in a little and just kind of pull it back. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the black. Find our distance, but we're just not gonna go up as far as we did with the red. Flick, flick, flick. And that is the ring of doom if I've ever seen one. Let's go ahead and cover that up. Squiggle. No tricks, no techniques. Just spray some color down, shading and highlighting, cover it up with a circle also use things like special effect cans. So I have Crackle and I also have some Marble. Now, the only ones I'm really familiar with are from Montana and something like the Crackle I think takes a lot of experimenting. It works good with some brands of paint and it doesn't work very well with other brands of paint. It's actually really annoying which is why I usually never touch stuff like this. However, we will give it a go. So I have this is a very old can that I've had for maybe like close to five years but Montana White, whatever the hell color this is. And then we'll give it a layer of crackle. And then let it dry. All right, and we'll do just a little smiley face down here. Brownie face up here. It may not be my thing, but it does look pretty good. The results are pretty cool. It's basically the same thing for all the special effect paints. I mean, this is the marble one, which is, I'll be honest, it's just really pricey, silly string. But they might be something worth checking out. Now, I wanna go back to that classic technique again, because there are some slight things that you can do to get really different results. So let's just go ahead and do the same exact thing, lighter to darker with yellow, orange, and red. And then I think we'll just do black for our neutral. Now, very simply, some things that you can change and be as creative as you want with this, but depending on how you fold this, you'll get very different results. So if you want something like parallel lines, a bunch of lines going in the same direction, you could just kind of fold this a bunch the same way. And then when we unfold it, we see exactly that, just a bunch of parallel lines. This could look really cool. Another one of my favorites is you take your page, you take your finger right in the center, and you just kind of fold the page around your finger. Hopefully without it wrinkling really weird. And give it a crumple. 
and then when you unfold it you'll get kind of like this starburst effect i actually really like this for galaxies but we'll get into that in a separate video we have that center point right there and you can see lines going off in every single direction really neat clear coat just to re-wet the paint and it's the same exact thing you just kind of place it you swipe it and you lift it place swipe and lift and like I said, you can be as creative as you want with this, but it's still, at the end of the day, like that very classic sort of style planet. Smiley face, frowny face. A touch up with the highlight would look really good too. Squiggle. I also want to get back to that swiping idea. So let's get a first layer down and we'll use all three colors. We'll use the yellow, we'll use the orange, and we'll use the red. And red at the bottom. And what we could do is add just a little bit of secret sauce, a little bit of that clear coat. We can throw blue in here because why not? And you're just going to go ahead and spray it on your fingers and then go ahead and swipe it in. And we can even do multiple paints, so we can even add white into this as well. Same exact thing, just spraying some paint on my fingers, swiping it in. A little highlight at the top, shade at the bottom. And I think I just want to do a touch up down here with the shading. Squiggle. And there we go. And for this one, we'll do two planets here. And it's a bit reverse. So we're going to do the space scene first and then the planets. And you don't need your traditional planet stencil for this one either. So what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate our arm. So elbow here windshield wipers so that's the best way that i know how to describe it kind of create an arch with our arm and go ahead and mark off a corner planet and then go off and do your space scene up here which we'll just do black some stars again just kind of keeping that same consistency with the arm rotation windshield wiper thingy i want you to just kind of put the colors down so we're still going to use the yellow orange and red so we're just going to put that line of yellow in there and be random with it. You see, I just put a line in there. I don't know, it felt right. Same thing, let's go ahead and add some orange. And let's add some red. Maybe we want a little bit of red up there, down here. And we can add some neutrals as well. So maybe we want a line of white up there, a line in the middle. Now what we're gonna do is make sure that this paint is still wet, which it should be, but I guess to be sure, we'll use a little bit of clear. Once again, keep that same rotation, same windshield wiper with your hands and just kind of swipe it all in. Just swipe your way down. Now, usually I don't wait for paint to dry. However, I am going to wait for it to dry here because I don't want the paint to bleed through. So in the meantime, we'll start our next planet. For this one, you're going to need a roll of tape. The wider that it is, the easier it'll be. The whole idea here is we're just going to spray paint on the inside of the roll there and it's going to give us that crescent shape. So first things first, if you want to get rid of any stars that are up here, just take your black hand and just kind of make a boop. Just a nice little boop to cover up those stars around that area. Now you could just spray white on the inside, you'll get yourself a nice crescent moon, but we can also do colors. So what I'm going to do is just hold this and I'm hovering still, I'm not placing it on the painting. What I'm going to do is just take my red can and spray the inside of that paint roll a few times and we get that shape. Now that looks pretty good on its own, however, I like to highlight things. I like to give things nice little highlights. So take my white. And same exact thing, just gonna kind of hover in the same spot, but I'm gonna move it over a little bit, kind of like up and left, just so I can kind of go in front of that red. I hope that makes sense. Not very much, just a little bit. And that is actually one of the easiest ways to knock out planets, especially after the fact. If you do all the traditional ways where you use the planet stencils, you do your space scene, and maybe there's some empty spaces in your scene, this is a good way to fill them up real quick. We can go ahead and shade down here. If you want to shade with black, you absolutely can. However, you can also just shade with a color. So we could use like a dark red down here. And it's going to be the same exact thing. 
We're gonna pull back our can, find our distance, and just kind of eat away at that corner. And you know what, now that I'm looking at it, I think we could use a little bit of black. So same thing, I'm gonna pull back my can, just kind of eat away at that corner a little bit and get some shading down. So we can see that dark red in there and that black. We're gonna need that scrap poster. Same exact thing as what we were doing to touch up the highlights before. We're gonna curve it so it aligns with the curvature of the planet, which is just a slight curve right here. And we're gonna spray the tool with the white. Just like so. And then we can also, I'm gonna keep spraying this just to kind of lighten it up up here, because why not? Squiggle, and we are officially done. That is about all I got. As I said before, these are just the ways that I like to do planets. If you could get into the habit of just doing random stuff with shading and highlighting, chances are you'll get a decent looking planet at the very least. But have fun with these, and if you got any questions, let me know.